Hey, welcome back to Mario and Luigi Partners in Time. Uh, last time I was talking more about tech school. I got us through the underground area here, and now we're about to f fight. We're about to fight the big boy, the big, the big green man. About to beat this shit out of this PD piranha little bastard. This, this should be fun. I will enjoy this, honestly. But yeah, let me heal everyone up. Alright, and I was looking for some gear. If I wanted to use that, I would, but I'm not going to. Don't need egg pants. I'll probably sell some of those, honestly. Hmm... If I gave those to Mario, I don't know if it'd benefit him. Cause see, it like... Also, wow, I got, I got actually like a good decent amount of items here. Two Cobalt shards. Sweet. All right, let's do it. Let's freaking do this. Oh, I thought the big door was gonna open. Did not mean to do that. Sweet. I don't know why he decided to eat the block. Sweet. Gives us some foreshadowing as to where we need to go afterwards. Luigi, what the hell? Also, I don't understand this part. How does he forget the kid? See, how do you forget that? How do you forget a child? Just imagine a toddler versus this titan of a plant. PD Piranha is like a plant, right? He's based off of like a, um, what's it called? A, uh, Venus flytrap, I believe. Sweet! Oh, that's what I like to see. I like to see the defense down. Alright, I don't remember how he does this. But that's how you do it. Okay. I don't remember how much EXP this guy gives out or how much health this guy has. But I think I'm gonna do just fine. Just fine. I don't know how I messed that one up. I should have done this from the beginning. Look at that. Okay. Now how much damage am I gonna do now? I probably like 20. 25! 23! 14! And how much does the baby Ouija do? 13. Okay, that's not too bad. I clicked it! I freaking pressed it! But look at that! 314! That is nuts! Oh my god, this is amazing. I just want to see how long I can string this. I didn't- uh, <laughs> I thought I pressed the button in time, but I guess not. Ah! 
There we go. Thank you. I think it's near like the end phase because I I did a lot of damage to it. Let's go. Mm. Try this. No, okay. I need him out so I can do the trampoline again, because I can't do it with, uh with him like that, because I think the teeth count as, like, damage towards me. Also, you know what's really crazy? I probably mentioned this before. Damn it. Um. In, like, one of my, like, my original playthrough of this, but this was when I was scouring the internet as a child. This was one of the very first things of Mario & Luigi, like, material that I saw. Cause I was like, yo, I wanna, I wanna play this game. It just looks so cool to me. Yeah, let's keep doing this. But this, this one battle in particular, don't remember where I found the video or what video it was, but it was a video of just this boss, and I was like, this is amazing. understand this one really except for that I'm really hoping that this doesn't kill it it does doesn't it damn it <laughs> oh damn I love having that EXP badge, because it works on both bros. I think. Where is the princess of the page? So here's the thing that I'm concerned about. Or I'm like not concerned, confused about. Um The Shrobe Princess, she knows about the Cobalt Star sealing away a certain individual, which is most definitely spoiled. Uh, I probably said it before, but, um, if the Princess Shrobe knows that the Cobalt Star, Cobalt Star is gonna be, you know, gathered by these guys, wouldn't she have done all that she can to, um, to take it back or something? Just, just a thought. It would have been amazing to like see um, those pictures. I guess <laughs> she owes us one. We better freaking remember that. Sweet. Stop dying. You idiot. Princess Peach, you always get captured and tortured by the worst things possible. God damn. And you know what? When I was originally playing this game, I thought that that was a cool idea having the princess Shrobe disguise herself as as uh, the princess and go into the the past or whatever. 
or no, go into the present. But I think this is a 100% not at all me throwing shit around, um, attempt at me confirming that this game is based off of the Matrix. <laughs> So, <laughs> the fact that the Princess Strobe has, is now, um, freaking, what's it called? Uh, in this, it's just like how, uh, Agent Smith found himself in the real world, escaping the Matrix in in the second matrix which is one of my favorite movies ever i i still love i just watched that movie um not too long ago one of if not my f top five favorite movies to watch sweet let me buy some items never mind copy flower how many can I buy? I can buy 21, Jesus. I'm gonna buy four. Four seems like a good number. Because this is li it's literally the exact same thing, except... Um, same thing as the trampoline, except you're just moving at a much faster pace. But yeah, I think this is a good way, a good place to stop in terms of uh, my session and the episode. Um, I'm probably going to be playing Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga right after this, so I've got a lot of gameplay to do. So yeah, um, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next episode. Bye!